December 21st, 2020, uh, Burlington Select Board meeting to order. Uh, tonight, on my far left, is Justin Lawrence, Chloe Smith, uh, John Quinn, and Angelina Capone are on the. Angelina is on the phone. Um, also with our town administrator. Uh, oh, I think you'd be happy if you said acting. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy if I could remember his name. Yeah, all right, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I call him Tom. <laughs> Tom Badowski. Thank you. Okay. Um, additions or changes to the agenda, Tom? I don't have any, Mr. Chair. Uh, any public comment? Hearing none. Uh, uh, Treasurer Diane isn't here, so no treasurer's report. He gave the paperwork to you folks. Uh, I think you're, they're going through it now. Okay. Um, let's see here. Emergency medical services with Barrytown. Put into your packet a letter from Carl Rogers, town manager at, at Barrytown. Uh, concerning the contract is coming up uh, with the town for their medical services and I also put in a, a note from Keith Van Eiderstein he's the, uh, the town fire chief I want to give the comment on the relationship uh, you could see the chief is, is uh, saying he's very happy with the relationship um, goes on to, I don't hate putting words in people's mouths, but if, if there's a way to extend it, he, he wouldn't have an issue with that. Um, so I'm just seeking the pleasure of the board of the, on this contract. Um, in the past, we have put it out to bid. Each time it comes up for renewal, other than the additional years, if we do it that way. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any other service providers. I think there's a few in the area. We can work that well, so what I would recommend is then is that we have a motion to put it out to bid and go from there. Let we'll me put the Bear County MS uh, services out to for our dealership. I'll second that. The upcoming contract, sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, not, it hasn't been the upcoming contract. I'll amend the motion. Okay. Um, any further discussion on this? You guys want to, what term are you looking for on this? Well, I would think three years um, uh, right out. Okay. And if they want to take and give us any additional years after that at a uh, set rate, we can consider that when it comes up. It's pretty much what we had the last time. So it's, again, for three years, initial term, mm -hmm. with an option for one additional year, or? One or two, doesn't matter. Two, two years? Because yeah. usually what they do is they just, whatever, uh, how are they extrapolated out another additional two years? I think we think that the Berlin's done it for the three years with the additional two, simply because it gives us a chance to see what the what is happening as far as expenses go. You don't know if there's a, a template for this RFP anywhere, do you? Should be in Dana's office, I think. Uh, okay. Right. Any other comments on this? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, motion carries. Uh, let's see here. Fisher Room Colbert. I see Robert's not on the phone yet. I, I know he's traveling to try to get there. So Randy Saxon is on the phone. Uh, Brad, so she is here. at the 7:30. Randy, you, you're on still on. You're on the phone, correct? Yes, I am. Thank you. So you're up. You're up, Randy. Okay. Um, I was just going to give you an update on 
where we are with town center planning. We're still working through some of the background materials um, with hopes and plans uh, to still have that um, draft application ready to go towards the end of October. So we're moving through the elements and um, checking them off as we get there. Uh, we've made progress on the water and wastewater um, pieces. The, there are two components to this. Uh, one is getting um, notifications and sort of sign off from ANR for um, confirming that indeed you do have water and wastewater service and adequate um, capacities to serve development within the new town center. Uh, we've done those calculations and uh, come up with an estimate for planning purposes of an additional 100,000 gallons per day of um, water and wastewater capacity, and those are within your current un, um, unallocated reserves. So uh, there's not any issues uh, there in terms of not being able to have enough uh, capacity to demonstrate that you could um, support the proposed development at the new town center. Uh, we've gotten the sign off on the water component. We're still working on the wastewater piece uh, with DEC to get that form signed off on. And then there is an element that will be coming to you. Uh, there needs to be an ordinance um, done that will allocate uh, wastewater capacity to the new town center um, based on that estimate of 100,000 gallons per day. Uh, that's about 30% of your current uncommitted reserves. So my recommendation is that you would uh, write this allocation up uh, with a requirement that at least 30% of the uncommitted reserve um, be dedicated to the Newtown Center. Another element that you could add to this that would help with the Newtown Center um, application process and demonstrating meeting the state's goals would be to set aside an allocation for affordable housing as well, something like 10% um, to show that you are uh, making efforts to support and plan for affordable housing in the new town center. Those elements will eventually come to you. They could either be uh, adopted as a standalone new ordinance, second ordinance for wastewater, or they could be um, incorporated into your current wastewater ordinance and you'd have to open that up and amend it. So. Whichever way uh, is the simpler route forward, um, we can do that. Uh, those, it, it, it isn't a lot of additional material that needs to be added. It's fairly like a page at most um, has to get in, put in place for that. So, well, I'd like to add, uh, Brandy, that the, uh, the Public Work Board, this was on their agenda last Monday, and they, they uh, reviewed this, and they their sense is that they would they would like a standalone ordinance in case okay you know, in case the, um, the the application is denied it's there's not there's not mudding of the waters of the of the regular uh, wastewater ordinance uh, and the water ordinances that we have so that that's that's uh, the, that's what their their druthers would be uh, and, and as you know the, the public park board has been working to there's been a significant percentage of the 600,000 gallon a day allocation from the city of Montpelier has been, has been allocated but not connected uh, and when we started this there was about 110,000 gallons of that and we're down to about 54,000 gallons so we're making some progress in getting those gallons released back to the town uh, which again helps support the, the, the new town center. Anybody have questions for Brandy? Well, I guess you know, the only question I have is why would we allocate so much of this so far in advance? Did you hear that question, Brandy? Uh, I think I heard the question uh, why do you need to allocate uh, this so far in advance? Yeah. Yeah, um, the 
requirement, uh, one of the state requirements for the Newtown Center program is to have an allocation. Um, you, you wouldn't necessarily have to have 100% um, of what you anticipate is going to be needed for the Newtown Center, but you need to be able to demonstrate that you can provide uh, enough water and wastewater capacity to serve the proposed development over you know, a reasonable planning period, so a 10 to 20 year time horizon. Given that you've got um, a significant more wastewater uh, uncommitted reserve capacity than the 100,000 gallons, um, like I said, that's about a third, a 30% of the um, current uncommitted reserve. It um, doesn't seem like that would be a major, um, you know, impinging on your ability to serve other element, other portions of the community um, to put that uh, yeah, allocation and there. And then you can adjust the allocation, you know, annually when you look at it um, in terms of uh, what's available. And you would have the opportunity to make adjustments to the ordinance if you needed to. And this may be a better question for Tom. Tom, can't we just buy more allocation from the email player? Um, we that we have a contract now for 600,000 gallons. Uh, we have an option to extend that contract for another 16 years. There are some benefits in built into that contract for the town of Berlin. If we open up that contract, uh, things can change. So, um, I, I guess my 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 second question is is we have to pay for that allocation one way or the other, right? Or the, the ratepayers do. If for folks that are, it's, it's, it's once it's used, we, we, no, we, when the town didn't, uh, to, when it negotiated this contract, didn't pay a lump sum. The city of Montpelier has been um, saying to me that likely in the future they're going to pay. You're going to have to pay for new for additional allocation. Right. I guess my worry would be that the rate payers now will have to pay for that unallocated use for a decade or two decades. Potentially. No, no, that's All not right. the case. No. Okay. Good. The other question, uh, the question I have is um, with the wells we have now, do we have capacity? On the wa the water is the is the limiting factor. It's, I mean, that's the one of the two utilities that we have is the the what we'd have to. Uh, under if we had, if, if there if the town saw a tremendous amount of growth, uh, we would be looking for a, a fifth well. Um, but again, that as long as the man's there, it makes absolute it, sense. It absolutely makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But with what we've got now, with what we have now, it covers this this request with no issues. Okay. Any other questions? Randy, thank you. You can go. Okay, thank you. Have a good evening. Municipal planning grant, Carla? So I'm just here to, um, there's a formal resolution to for the planning commission to um, uh, um, sign to or agree to to submit the municipal planning grant. It requires a $2,200 match for the $22,000 budget. So you would essentially be committing to the 10% match. Um, and this again is to do a municipal needs assessment. And I think it's a, you know, it is tied to the town center application, but I think it's, it's a good independent project, standalone project in itself, because I think it's a good time to start looking at the needs of the town um, and assessing what, you know, with the growth in the, in the facilities and, the, and having the wastewater and all that, I think it's a good time to see what the needs are. There'll be a new town administrator at some point, and this might be a good time to just sit back and assess that. So I think regardless of the town center application, it, it's a good project to apply for with minimal investment and um, with good return. Okay. So that would just, I, I signed it as a planning commission recommending it, and Tom has that, um, and it would just require that commitment by the select board. So you may recall that this uh, application has to be in to the state by the end of, end of the se se September, uh, uh, and the requirement of the municipal support is, is one of the items of that. So 
of the application process. So you'd be committing to uh, approximately $2,200. Can we go that in the budget? I, I don't know. <laughs> Tom, that was not the right answer. <laughs> I, mean, I, the, I mean, the other thing to remember is the application can go in. We don't, if, you know, you, you can always you not accept the right. funding if, right. you know, there's a problem. So there's no, no, no harm in applying and then, you know, seeing what happens. We don't even know that we're going get to get the grant, and if we do, we can always reassess at that time. <coughs> Any other questions for Carol? So I, I do have this letter of support. You guys saw a draft of it at last meeting. Um, if you can make a motion to uh, to support this, and you as the board sign it, so I would and the planning commission would appreciate it. Your motion? I make a motion to sign a letter of support for the municipal planning grant. Second. Any other discussion? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, folks. Thank yep. you, Carol. Good to see you all. You Personal. too. <laughs> right, you feel better. Thanks. Still see Roberts and Odd. Roberts not on, so I would like to talk to you about the Crosstown Road culverts. Um, okay, I do. I put a uh, the assessment. We had a, 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 a team come in and do an assessment of the two culverts up up here on, on the Crosstown Road, and they were in in good order. Um, that's just some, some, some minor sediment and, and, and materials like that on the, on the bottom of it. A little bit of wear showing, but nothing that, that's critical. So uh, I would encourage the, uh, the board to start looking at a, at a capital budget that includes the, 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 that, those two culprits, yes. They, uh, they were inspected them. They had no, they found no uh, rotting on the bottom or anything like that. Nothing. No. No. Alas, some good news. That was good news. Uh, let's see. Let's Anything else on that? Okay, that's right. Just so you know. Uh, anything else on Crosstown culverts? Okay. Thank you, Tom. Uh, Still not Robert. I'm going to move to to this that thing. I spoke to him today. He uh, spoke to uh, you. Remember the, when we we left at the last meeting? We talked uh, about the possibility of concreting the floor of that culvert. Um, and that was Plan E, I think it was. Um, so they. Uh, Robert has spoken to Jaron Borg, the uh, regulatory um, agent, about that plan. Uh, Jared has asked for a um, some uh, design on it. So where it, it was maybe a 10% possibility, uh, Robert's thinking it's a 50% possibility today. And um, we've also asked uh, the state to allow us to go past October 15th. They, they allowed us. Uh, and got a positive vibe from that as well. So, well, along the weather holes, yeah. there's not much water in the ditches. That's correct. That's correct. So, um, so I don't have anything definitive uh, for you today. I hope to have some further hopefully good news in the relatively near future on on that culvert. Concrete buys you about 10 years, <laughs> okay? Yep. It's not like the, the solution that, that the sleeve was, but at least it, it allows to have some better planning and maybe um, some... some uh, Set aside before. Yes, that. correct. Yep. Yep. Uh, 
Uh, can you make a notation of that so we don't forget that during the budget cycle? Okay. Because it's, I mean, we're not going to do anything with it this year, but. I'm not thinking so much of the concrete but, uh, part of it, but no, the, I get uh, it. Yeah, the, the yeah. capital part. Of it. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on uh, Fisher Road? No. No. I'm oh, sorry. sorry. Oh. Um, draft of town administrative search committee. I sent you folks around. Um, an effort to to move move this hiring process of town administrator along. Uh, it's purely a draft. Good, bad, and different. Let me know what you think. And and um, there, it spells out a a, uh, a a way to move forward on the selection. And. You could, you could see who I populated uh, it with already. I, uh, the, uh, the chairman and, and Justin as two select board members. And I said uh, one from the five uh, standing committees that we have, conservation, DRB, fire, planning, and public works, and another one from that same group, and then a, a, a fifth one to be determined. Um, uh, a five member, five member hiring committee, I think is manageable. Um, but again, I'll take your lead on this. And but I would like to, I would encourage the board to, to, to move forward on this number, hiring. On number five to be determined, have you talked to uh, Rosemary? I have not. If you see, I added a hurt. I added her to the to the second committee down there. I know she'd have it. She had. She would have an interest in, in serving. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You could approach her. Okay. And uh, let's see here. Have you got any names from the uh, item three and four? Conservation, DRB, fire planning, and public works. I've spoken okay. to DRB, public works, uh, planning, and conservation. I've not talked talk to anybody from the fire. I've talked to Chief Van Iverson on that. And see if he, if he would or has a recommendation for that. I, I haven't asked, I, I, I asked the folks from those four committees. That this is the process I'm thinking. Would anybody be interested in serving? I planted the seeds. I haven't got any any names back. Okay. Does the board feel like for the town administrative position we should all just be on the hiring committee from the start? Well, I don't think we all need to be there to thin out the herd. Yeah, but when you get down to the final two, though, it can be well two or three. I would think three. So in the past. <laughs> I've done this before, and what happens, you know, what has happened is we get one person that we really love, but they don't accept the, the dollar amount, they don't want to relocate, whatever, and we get the second person, and then half the board that didn't help, or that it wasn't part of the process, gets pissed about a year down the road when no, no one likes the, the current person, right? Or <laughs> hypothetically, and I'm not talking about town managers, I'm just talking about in positions in general, so... Just trying to think of, you know, how do, how do we get buy-in from everyone that these are the, you know, this is going to be a long-standing position, hopefully, for the town as an administrator. And do we bring in, I don't want to make the committee, you know, too big, but it's always good to have some community involvement, too. Yeah. Well, at well, least it's well, if, if you guys meet as a board, it's a, it's a public meeting. So you you would have to go into uh, executive, uh, executive session. Executive session. Yeah. So, so it would have to be worn that way, but... Right, but that, that's the only stumbling block. Yeah. I'm certainly not looking for more meetings. Um, I'm just, you know, I, um, from past experience, I've just... <laughs> Would you get more comfortable if you replaced me on the hiring committee? No. <laughs> oh, okay. No, it's not. It's certainly not about me. Um, yeah. I'm just thinking, like, if everyone feels comfortable with two people and narrowing it down to two or three people, then, then I'm good. I just wanted to highlight it as... Yeah. Uh, 
it's just something that, well, I mean, you, uh, even with, well, the thing of it is, with, uh, with two people on, uh, two people on the select board, at least it's not a quorum, and there's not going to be a, a, quote, select board favorite, mm -hmm. you know, because it's only two members, and the other three members hopefully will be able to do some critical thinking. What do you think? There should be more, a few other opinions from outside perspectives off the board is what I, I, mean, I heard you say. Yeah, I mean, for me, the, for the town administrator, uh, it's all about, uh, he's going to be able, or he or she has got to be able to work with the, the town, uh, the, the, the town up here in the office, and they've got to be able to work with the public. What about Diane? Have you thought about putting her on there? She's in that second committee. Number four. Okay, very well. Yep, sorry. No. I think if we narrowed it down to three, I'd feel a little better. If we're going to keep it at just two select board members, if we get it down to three, and one more. Yep. Like I do. I agree. I mean, because yeah. it gives you that little bit of buffer. Yeah. If the first two, mm -hmm. for some reason, don't come through for you. So when you when you say. We narrowed down to three, the, the entire select board or the committee? Just the hiring committee. Hiring. The hiring committee, yeah. And then the select board will hire out of the three. Okay, yep. That makes sense, yep. Anything else on this, Tom? Do you, you have the TBD the to be determined? Uh, you mentioned Rosemary. I, I, I know she, she'd like to have to, to be on that. Yep. I have seen no problem with that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so nothing else on that, Tom? No, I'll clean it up. And uh, are you guys okay with the rest of the schedule where this can no longer be a draft, that this is our working document? Yep. All right. Any, any comments on that? Anybody good with that? Okay. Is there a volume button on that uh, that speaker there? It's all the way up. It's probably, it is, okay. It's probably the muffle of our masks. Yeah. Uh, there, okay, that must be the problem. Okay. Okay, the Vermont Department of Public Safety, State Police Barracks, new location, Tom? Uh, you all received emails or emails from the Department of Public Safety. Um, I'm letting you know that they are uh, going to pursue moving the Middlesex State Police Barracks to their Payne Turnpike North Campus um, with an anticipated completion of December of 2021. I've reached out to their um, uh, building managers and have talked water and wastewater allocation uh, with them. They believe uh, uh, 25 headcount will be in that building. And, um, and for those who, who aren't, don't really know where that's at, it's on Payne Turnpike North, nearly directly across from Richardson Road there. Um, uh, so, so I'm just letting you, if you didn't see this in your inbox, I'm just letting you know that it's there. And that they're gonna be coming out, I've, I, I've suggested as soon as possible that they come in and present to the select board on what their thought process is, their design and stuff. So you'll be seeing them coming in to you to, for their uh, initial review. Yeah. Are they going to change the outside of the building at all or just the inside? My sense is that, that their likelihood, they want to keep the building itself, um, but they, I believe they will change the exterior, and I know they're gonna change the interior. I followed up with Commissioner Sherling uh, about, about the relocation, and um, he, was, he was excited about it. He thinks it's a good opportunity for Berlin, which I, I agree, I think, um, you know, having that much more public safety in our neighborhood is a, is a good thing, and, um, you know, I think over time we'll see that expand, uh, that office, into more of like what the other 
barracks look like, but for right now, um, there's a bigger capital improvement plan around the buildings that uh, the state owns and lease space. And uh, this was one of the many moves that's going on, but I think this is very positive for Berlin. And it gets them out of uh, a falling down building in Middlesex. Yeah. I, I agree with you, John. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's a win-win, it's a I think, for, for both of us. Anything else on this? Uh, police chief recruitment interview schedule? Uh, so the, the police chief hiring committee is uh, have scheduled three sessions of interviews with two interviewees each beginning uh, September 22nd, continuing September 24th, and the last one will be September 29th. Uh, they, um, they really they really haven't discussed on on uh, additional interviews with candidates second interviews with candidates but that'll likely occur uh, in early october the, the plan is to get it vetted down to uh two or three candidates by october 15th so that's i think we're well on track of getting that done uh, the committee has been very active and and um uh, and uh, again, we're meeting, uh, we'll meet tomorrow with the first two candidates virtually uh, to start those interviews. And uh, Berlin Police Force training request. So I met with um, Sergeant Bert Cassett uh, last week. Um, I, I sent around uh, some communications and um, th this is one of the things that came up and we talked a lot about training and training plans and you can see here he outlined it for all of us but this is something that uh, while not required it's certainly a good good training for for this officer to go to being new um, I have a number of personnel related things that I'd like to bring up in executive session if we have one um, as a liaison to the police department I listen to you know kind of what what he had to say and what some of his his offices are feeling and I just want to make sure the whole board is aware of some of the personnel things that are happening. Okay, um let's see here. The town stormwater treatment. You may recall that uh, last meeting of we opened bids. We were over budget um, uh, for the. Sorry. Do we need to make a motion to allow him to go to that training, or? Oh. You, I, you can come out of the executive session and do it. Oh. Okay. I just wasn't sure if we did it now or. I I don't care when. I just wanted to be able to give him an answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, if if you, I think you should do it now then. Yeah. Here a uh, motion to allow the uh, officers to go to police training. So moved. At a cost of five hundred and seventy-five dollars, I believe it was. Second. Okay. Any further discussion on that? Uh, those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so stormwater, um, we opened bids, and um, we, we didn't. We did not have enough grant money. Uh, the the folks from uh, Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission went back to the funders, and um, they be they believe they have got the funders to agree to um, to the difference in the grants amount versus the cost. To do the project in 2021, and I'm talking about talk, hey, I think about $12,000 extra that we needed. Um, uh, they, the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission, does not have a definitive uh, revised contract yet. I saw a draft today. I believe it's going to occur. So, um, I, uh, in the, in the near future. But <clears throat> I'm suggesting that we table this award of bid until we have a definitive contract from the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission stating that they have obtained the additional grant monies. 
the grant that is now we have gotten, when does that go away? At the end of 2021. So we have to use it or we have to take it and accept it by 221? We've already accepted the uh, 51,000. Yeah, but not the, not with the 12,000 there. Yeah. We, we have to use it by the end of 2021. Okay. And that's why we, that's why we bid it with two construction seasons, 2020 and 2021. Uh, let's see here. Um, a motion to table this to when you want to take and have it, uh, you said uh, most of the table to hold. I think your next meeting. I don't think we need to have a special meeting to do it. Okay. Because the work's not going to get done until 2021. But you're just looking for, for the answer for the 12,000. I'm looking for the answer for the 12,000. So you'll have it, you feel you'll have it by the... I do. Okay. Move the table to town campus on water treatment. Bit of one until we hear back on the additional 12,000. <laughs> Any further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, draft transitional return to work program. So we've been talking about this for a couple meetings now. Um, the, the, the town, <coughs> in, in, in either it's uh, non-union hourly employees um, uh, handbook and the uh, union collective bargaining agreement have language of, of, that if, if somebody is injured at work, how do they, how do they come back to work? Uh, and it's oftentimes it's on light duties, the transition from, from being away uh, on full disability to light duty to then becoming. Uh, and so it's, we, I sent this to you at the last meeting. You guys um, wanted to take another, have a, have some time to look at it. I apologize for getting, I think I sent it to you Thursday or Friday. Um, so you didn't have a great, great amount of time. But these are so the templates for this, came from the Vermont League of City and, and Towns. Um, so if, uh, you, you don't have to act today, um, uh, but I, I do believe that uh, that both the, this should be added to the non-unionized employee handbook um, and then as uh, I know the, the collective bargaining agreement is coming due soon and that um, the, the discussion of, of this should be uh, incorporated in, in that contract as well um, so but, but I'm not a fan of uh, kicking the can down the road, so I don't want to show have this shown on, on every agenda. Um, so, yep. um, I make a motion to uh, accept the transitional return to work program policy. And I second the motion. Any further discussion on this? What, and uh, so there's actually two documents here. There's, there's the policy, and then the, then there's the agreement, yeah, which is. So I, I would ask that you amend your your motion to include some of the agreement as well. And I second that as amended. Any other discussion on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Uh, let's see. Local government expense reimbursement grant. It's a funny one. So you, you may recall that, that uh, <coughs> Berlin was uh, potentially eligible for 70, approximately $70,000 of reimbursable COVID expenses. Uh, they, the state um, had, a, had a grant application go out. We submitted the grant application in a timely manner. They were to make a decision by September 15th. Um, on the 14th of September, they said they weren't going to make a decision until the 18th. Uh, they, have, they haven't made a decision yet. Um, so uh, I'm believing that it's going to occur. And John has volunteered at, at the last 
meeting um, uh, to, to help vet projects. As you may recall, this money has to be spent by the end of 2020, so that there's not a lot of time here to do these things. Um, so uh, I, what I'm, we've I've talked to fire, highway, police, and and the, the, the town staff here. We've got a laundry list of projects. I'm gonna put those together and just send them to John and we'll, with some dollars and and, uh, and we're gonna try to try to prioritize some of some items. So. Um, and uh, just talk to some contractors about about the, the possibility of, of doing some of this work. So um, I'm sort of disappointed that it, they they haven't come yet, but uh, I don't know. It's just, anyways. So I, I hope that once I once I get a, a, a definitive thumbs up, thumbs down, I'll share with you all. Uh, we're hoping for the thumbs up. Okay. And um, let's see here. How much was each town allowed? It was based on your tax revenues, and so it varied. Berlin wasn't quite seventy thousand, but it's you know just shy of it. Anything else on this? No, I wish I had better news for you today. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Tom. Uh, Vermont Tran V-Trans bridge project? So uh, the bridge, oh, a bridge on Route 302 that crosses, um, uh, oh, I forgot the name of the brook. Anyways, crosses the brook down there. That's by, um, uh, the campus, uh, the computer barn air and, and rubber bubbles is that that bridge. So they have it. They have it scheduled for a uh, uh, major repair, and they are asking if the select board would like to to uh, weigh in on the project. So I invited them to come to this meeting and and present, um, and then the response I got back from from uh, agency transportation was they're not allowed to come to live meetings and so they suggested a zoom meeting with the select board um, and, and so I know that's necessarily practical either because you know I think you, if you do that you do it outside of this meeting because I don't think you can have a zoom meeting inside of this meeting but uh, uh, but I, I can share with you the link to their um, planning page is probably got 30 different documents in there of what they're planning on doing to the, so you can review it. Um, and maybe after you've re reviewed it, if you think that, that more um, ex explanation is needed from VTrans, you could, you could um, call for a, a special meeting via Zoom. At one time, trying to think. At one time, they came in and discussed the project with the select board. The with that bridge, other than the, the sidewalks getting a little rough and whatnot, the the um, abutments were blocks, and the blocks have shifted. Now, are they going to repair that, or are they going to take it? Or did they say if they were going to repair or replace? I believe it's going to be repaired. I didn't dig into the weeds and all the 30 documents that were there, um, but I believe it's going to because they've been talking to the Public Works Board as well because we have some um, sewer assets right there, and so the Public Works Board's been involved in that as well. Okay. But I'll share the link. Yeah. And you, you all can look at it and let me know if you want to schedule a, a special Zoom meeting to have VTrans present to you all on, on that. Well, I remember when they presented in 
here, they had quite a few uh, pictures and you know, a lot of paper. So. Okay, uh, let's see here. I'm just trying to think, was something else about that? I can't remember. I don't believe that the, the steel underneath it was getting bad. I think it was the abutments themselves. So, okay. Uh, Green Mountain Power, permission to place poles, wires, etc. I think I put this in your packet. Yep. Um, so, I've never seen one of these things. I don't know if it's. So, they've got, they've at, they're asking your permission to allow them to replace some poles and guide wires within um, the town right of way. This is usually we have a working in the, in the right of way application. But I didn't know, just, this seemed like a pretty common document that Fremont Power uses. So I didn't know if the select board uses this document in lieu of your working in the right of way document. So I just got this here the other day, Thursday or Friday. And, um, I always like to move pretty quickly on these things because construction season is ending and such. And, um, I, have, I, I have no reason not to recommend allowing them to do it. I'm just trying to think where this is. Maryland Health is what it looks like. Yes. So, so it's coming, the pole would end at Maryland Hill and then like you're coming from the junction, it looks like from the, the junction, turns yeah. Left, you know, yeah, Bartlett from the junction road. toward Bartlett, yeah. So that little house right there is um, the doors. Didn't we just give a permit? It's the first one on the left, heading up Bartlett Hill. Um, there has been a one. permit for the work in the right away for a new driveway. Lucky, lucky, yep, yeah, Borman, yeah. right? Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yeah. And yeah, that was on. Yep. Yeah. So this is where this tower is going. Is that project or? It, it, it said replacing, so yeah. I don't know. Well, they were. It looks like they're raising the raising the poles a little bit. I make a motion to allow Green Mountain Power to place poles, wires, etc., in the town right away for the purposes of upgrading the lines. Second. Any other discussion? Those in favor? Aye. No. Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Um, municipal roads grant in the aid application. So I've never seen one of these things. I've spoken to At Ashley Andrews from Central Park Regional Planning Commission on it. Since it's, it's a pretty standard uh, form, I'm, I'm really not asking you to for any uh, uh, activity on it tonight to any motion. She said they still are trying to get the final details worked out. Uh, but it looks like Berlin would be eligible for uh, thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars of grant money, of which then the town would have to match or cash or in kind of about thirty five hundred dollars. Um, and it's for it's for uh, working and fixing roads that. You may recall the Regional Planning Commission did an inventory of, of all, all of our all of our roads, and some roads have uh, higher capacity for erosion, and and, and so it's, it's part of their program to clean up the Lake Champlain Basin, um, and that uh, uh, that monies, uh, if you if you uh, agree to this grant, the monies have to be used to to, to correct those. Those problems. I just got the inventory uh, of those roads here about a week ago, and I shared those with Tim. And uh, Tim and Ashley and I are going to meet and just put some sort of prioritization on which one of those are. And then, if you guys go with this, uh, 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 we'll, we'll give you a, 
um, uh, what well, we think the, the, the priority priority road should be uh, to to do the repairs. So that would be like rip wrapping the could be to be ditching and hydro seeding. It it takes all different forms. It it, oh. it it could be actually crowning the road, bringing the crown higher so water comes off, so you don't have water running down the road and, and chase, yeah. so you chase it into the ditches. It's just a combination of it, it could be um, tech dams in your ditches. It's, it's, it's so basically, what you're what you'll be looking at are the uh, steeper roads. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that and, and those ones that have a, a, a really a direct discharge to some stream, some body of water. You, you could have a steep road that dumps onto a, a meadow. Yeah. That, that's not as yeah. Like Rowell Hill Road. Yeah. yeah. Right down into the. Yeah, river. Yep. Yep. So I don't need action today, but I'm just letting you aware that that uh, this is coming down the pipe. I uh, spoke to Ashley. I speak to her. Uh, either Friday or today, I can't remember. And uh, so I really think that that they'll be done with their work for the next meeting. And I asked her if she would like to attend the meeting, and I'll ask you guys if. You guys would like her, her to attend? She said she could be available uh, to, to attend. She doesn't get a lot of requests for that, so I think she's pretty excited about that. <laughs> the uh, um, when is the uh, grant have to be used by? I think it's. I, I this is what I think. Not what I know. I think it's 2021. So if you want to take and have her come next meeting, I, I can. Yeah. Okay. Any other thoughts on this? Okay. Uh, approval of select board minutes, August seventeenth, twenty twenty, and August twenty fifth, twenty twenty. Not seeing the twenty fifth minutes here for some reason. Can I put them in, in that paper one? I may have missed it. Uh, it was a pretty short one. It was a one page. Did we always, is everyone for all the board members present at that meeting? No. We have a select board members on the call. Right. Now. Other present. And we don't have an accurate We just okay. like that. You just make that adjustment like you did last time. That's what I was wondering about the 25th. Yeah. When mm -hmm. you don't go by PJ ever, do you tell? Mm -hmm. you, you want a copy of it? Um, you need it to approve it. Oh, well. I have a digital copy here. I think I sent it in your package. Yeah. You, you did electronically, yeah, I just didn't have it. Done. You have? I don't have it either. Huh. I'm, I do remember reading I'm it at home it. in the packet that you sent us, but it's not here with what we have tonight. to get up um, uh, a motion to approve the August 17th. I make a motion to approve the Monday, August 17th, 2020 minutes with just an update in terms of who was and was not present for that meeting. Says here what Angelina was in here. Second. further discussion on this? Yeah. Um, under vacation accrual, which is page three, Point <coughs> impacted by the policy change due to COVID are Badowski, Isabel, and TJ Badowski. Oh, oh, oh TJ Perry. Yeah. Right, I didn't that. So, yeah, I think it's important that we say who's here. Yeah, who? It's, it's the same on the 27th. 
Yeah, unless otherwise noted. Mm -hmm. Especially given that. Right. So on the seventeenth, on the seventeenth, who was here? Seventeenth and the twenty-fifth. Uh, Angelina was was still out on vacation. Yeah. So and everybody was, else was here. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know. So based on the discussion, I make the approval of the select board minutes for August seventeenth, twenty twenty, with the change to. Tom Badowski's name on page three, no. and also notation of that, who and who no, was that was, I was looking at it on the punctuation. Oh, it's so you don't want to see that change made? Okay, it's, so it's we'll correct. leave it with the other as we passed it then. Um, here, a second on that. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We'll vote, motion carries, one abstention. I make the motion to approve the select board minutes of August 25th, 2020. With the same change? With the same change. Second that. Any further discussion on the minutes for um, so, I, so I don't have to watch the work or whatever the changes. Just the who was attending? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only one. I made the motion to approve because I had read them from home. Yeah. <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. One abstention. Um, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Executive session? Come yes, on. we do. We want to, uh, I'd like to see the, uh, I'd like to see the uh, financials before I vote on them. Sorry, I haven't seen that. So we'll go to executive session. Sure. We have a motion. Uh, do we want to do a round table and stuff like that? Or no? we'll, we'll do that yeah. afterward. Uh, is okay. there a vote coming up on this after round table, after uh, executive session? Not what I'm dealing with, but. No, I don't think. Okay. okay. Just, just an update. Uh, then we can do a round table. Justin? Um, so I'd like the, the fire department has a merger committee. I don't know if I brought that up. So they're, they're looking at they've got a couple of people from the fire department, Jerry Diamatidis, myself, and they're looking at um, the pros and cons of being potentially a volunteer municipal fire department. Um, and so I think that the board should have some discussion at some point about that, like if we want to put it on the Get a sense of what the community feels, if they, if they care at all, what they care, you know, just yep. try to gauge that to some sure. level. Um, and Justin, who's on the merger committee? Uh, it's myself, Keith, Nick Garbachik. Uh, Those are fire department people, both of them. Nick, Keith. Keith. Uh, Ryan Barr, who's um, a relatively new member from other time. Not new, but he's a year older than my son, so he's a younger guy. Um, and Jerry D. Matisse. And so we're just, that's just, that's, we're developing the pros and the cons. And because they're a separate corporation, and not a municipal corporation, or a municipality, municipal organization yeah. um, ultimately it has to go to the corporate like there there there's two different boards there there's the, and so 
so they'd have to probably vote on it because they have a set of bylaws. And I think there's a lot to it, but I, I believe it might be. It's worth worth. We should look at it and see if it's something that we want to look at. Uh, but see if it makes sense for us. Even. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's got to be some cost savings there. I would imagine so. I would imagine it would. Kind of, I feel like a lot of things are siloed right now. Um, very much so. It's so hard to, you know, communication. Um, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what they'll think. You know what they'll come up with over there. But yeah. I don't. I wouldn't want if we did. I mean, I don't mind having a conversation about it, but I wouldn't want to be on the pros and cons from a municipal standpoint since I'm on yeah. that one over there. I just didn't know if we should maybe put it. I don't know if it, if it would come to a, I don't know if you can have it as a non-action item at town meeting somewhere. Well, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to take have the have the discussion at town meeting. I mean, so how, how soon were the, how soon were they thinking this could possibly? In, in their goal is to have this pros and cons and their determination of whether or not it would be beneficial in time for us to put it in the uh, town report for this coming town meeting. So they want to move quick. That's that's the plan is to have it ready for this town meeting. Okay. Now they said when you say ready for this town meeting, are you saying ready to take and be absorbed by the town or just a discussion of we that? don't know if they're gonna to want to be absorbed by the town at this point. I yeah. don't know if I mean not absorbed but partner with the town. Yeah. Um so we don't know if Partnering with the town is what they're going to want to do. If they're going to deem that it's better for the department or worse for the department, what I've gotten from the fire department is the commitment, regardless of the results, to give us, let us know what their thoughts are so that we can publish it in the town report. Okay. So, I mean, I think it's something we just got to keep on the radar and, yeah. You know. Anything else, round table? Um, Not at this time. I had something else, but I couldn't remember. Nope. Okay. Thank you. John? I'm just wondering if anyone has an update on whether or not we've widened Black Road. We started today. Oh, did we? Okay. Okay, good. That was, that was the only question I had tonight. Yep. Uh, let's see here. I have nothing, so a uh, motion to enter into executive session. So moved. Uh, for legal or personnel? Legal, personnel, and contract. Ooh. Trifecta. Thank you. I second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those in executive session?